This is Mark Bozon with IGN Nintendo, and I'm here today to give you an in-depth look go. at Naruto Clash of Ninja for the Nintendo it's GameCube. Naruto was developed by Aiding Studios, which as some of you may know are the people responsible for bringing the Bloody Roar franchise over. The Clash of Ninja series has actually been going in Japan for quite some time. Uh, it's been very well received, and there are actually four Clash of Ninja games already out in Japan. A version that's hitting store shelves in just a few weeks is actually a direct port of the Japanese title. Depending on how it sells stateside, we could expect to see any number of the other titles in the near future. Clash of Ninja operates like the majority of 3D fighters out there. You'll feel a ton of inspiration from games like DOA and Soul Calibur. The best way to actually describe the gameplay would be to take a 3D fighter, simplify it a bit, and give it a sort of Smash Brothers feel. Most of the characters use B for their attacks and A for all their specials. This means quicker gameplay, faster combos, and an overall flashy look that translates well from the cartoon. Each character also has a max bar that'll fill up as battle progresses, which can be used to unleash character-specific super combos, or if you're on the ropes, it can be used to perform a counterattack. Using a super combo launches a scripted event, and while it adds a cinematic flair to the game, it gets quite repetitive to see the same animation over and over. Clash of Ninja offers multiple ways of playing, including one or two player battle, story mode, time attack, or survival. Pretty much anything you'd expect in a standard fighter. The game starts out with seven playable characters and promises a few more treats for those who stick with it. The starting cast consists of Zabuza, Iruka, Sakura, Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, and Haku. While some of the styles do overlap, the diversity of strategies for each character is still pretty high. Since Naruto is the figurehead of the franchise, his controls are pretty mainstream. He has strong melee combos, can do some impressive hand-to-hand -hand specials, but lacks a bit when distance is put between him and his rival. While nearly every character has a throwing weapon, some are much stronger than others, and Naruto is far better inside than from a distance. On the opposite side of the spectrum are characters like Sakura. Sakura has a three-hit combo with her throwing attack, displays combos that are stronger but a bit slower, and works a more in-depth overall strategy. Sakura will be great for players who love mind games, as she can teleport freely around the arena, contains quick vanishing combos, and relies mainly on unorthodox chain combos. Out of all the players to choose from, I found myself favoring Sakura, since she seems to bring a different feel to the game. Most of the other characters seem to fit somewhere in the middle of that spectrum. Characters like Kakashi and Sasuke resemble a more balanced, straightforward battle like Naruto, though they each have a few minor strategies that can be used to change up the pace or throw players off their game. On the other hand, fighters like Aruka and Haku work a much different angle, usually focused on slower combos, though they're stronger and offer a much larger mix of attacking low and high, close and far. The best part about the casting clash of Ninja is that each fighter feels different and works best within certain gamers' mindsets. For those of you looking for less of a Smash Brothers feel and want Clash of Ninja to operate more along the lines of Soul Calibur, you won't be let down either. Zabuza works completely out of the normal equation, having the A button used for weapon attacks rather than traditional special moves. While he doesn't have any distance weapons or warping combos, Zabuza delivers a huge amount of damage with an assortment of strong style attacks. Not unlike Nightmare from the Soul Calibur series, when he's mastered he can really change the flow and strategy of the fight. For fighting fans, Naruto will be a great way to pass the time until the E3 hype picks up. As we mentioned, there are three more additions to the Clash of Ninja franchise, so depending on how well it's received in America, there's a ton of potential to be had. Naruto hits store shelves March 7th. Naruto Uzumaki, get a load of my ninja skills!